So in this lecture, we're going to talk about some basic file content handling uh, from Unix. So if we want to view or look at what's in files, but not specifically edit what's in files, there's some tools that we can use uh, to do that easily. So the first one, the most basic one, is called cat uh, for displaying or concatenating files. So in this example, we'd run the command cat. Um, if we wanted to take the file foo.txt and bar.txt and redirect it, uh, we'll talk about what this symbol means more later, but if we were to redirect it into a new file called foobar.txt, that would contain the contents of these two. Uh, this is good for small files, and, and uh, we can also use it to uh, display some files to the screen. So let's go and take a look at example in Cloud9 here. So I've got a couple of, or at least I've got one file called lorem.txt in my uh, directory here. And so if we run uh, cat on it with no argument, with uh, the file itself as the only argument, uh, you can see that it prints out the contents of that file, which is just some, some Latin, okay? Um, so uh, then what we can do is we can redirect the output of this file to, say, a new file. So lorem.txt, we could redirect to um, lorem2, for example, uh, txt. And then if we look at what's in lorem2.txt, it's the identical. So we just took the contents of lorem and copied it into lorem2. So then we have a couple of more commands, more or less. They're a little more useful than cat. They're bigger for big files. Uh, so if we have a big file, we won't possibly only want to display one page at a time. And more or less lets us do that. So um, uh, more is just the precursor to less. Most Unix machines would have bo uh, both of them at this point. Um, if they have both, I would recommend uh, using less. Uh, you know, I say less is more, more. It's just a more advanced version of more. Um, and uh, it allows for faster movement in a file. And if all you want to do is view the file, it's usually faster to use uh, more or less than it is to use a standard editor. Uh, man, which we've already talked about briefly, uh, uses more or less. And so the commands that you use to navigate in the man page are the same ones that you'd use to in um, the more or less, right? So a few internal basic commands. If, if you want to move forward one page, you can push the site space bar or, or F backwards is B. Uh, one line forward is J, one line backward is K. If you want to search in a file, then you use the slash uh, foo. That would search forward for the expression foo in the file. So let's, let's go ahead and take a look at that. And in doing that, we'll have to actually um, use concatenate again to just create a larger file. Because if we run, if we simply run more on lorem, uh, you can see that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, fill up a whole page, therefore we, you know, there's nothing to do, there's no navigation of the file. So what we're going to do is we're going to use cat and we're going to use, uh, we're going to call it on lorem several times. So basically we're going to take lorem maybe four times and redirect it into uh, big lorem. And now if we run more on big lorem, you see that it only 80% of it is, is filled there, so we can hit the space bar. Uh, well, in this case, it goes to the end. Likewise, with less uh, on the big lorem, um, if we wanted to, say, move forward to the keyword A-M-E-T, then it highlights it and it moves to all instances. And so we can continue to hit the, hit the uh, return key, and it will continue to move through all instances of A-E-N-T until you get to the end. And then just like... In the man pages, if you want to exit, you hit Q. Okay, so that's a couple examples of more and less. There are a few more useful commands we might uh, choose to use, uh, like word count. So if we wanted to count the words uh, of a file, we can we can use that. It in fact counts the words, lines, and characters. Um, so if we wanted to count the words of lorem. And we see that there, uh, those are the, the uh, paragraphs, I think, uh, lines and words in that file. Um, likewise, if we, um, if 
presented on Big Lorem, you'll see the difference. Let me add that, right? So, head, this is uh, useful if you just want to look at the first few lines of the file um, to possibly see the header or see what's in it. We'll see what it cont uh, contains in a file really quickly. I think the default is to print like the first 10 lines of a file. And likewise, there's tails, so the default is to print something like the last 10 lines of the file. Um, and this can be useful for checking in on sim simulation results. So a quick example that demonstrates that is, um, you know, I have a Python file here uh, that is just a, just a loop and it prints to screen, right? So it just loops over uh, the integers to a million and prints them to the screen. So it's a very simple simulation. But if we see, if you run it, then you continuously uh, print it to the screen like so. Right? So I'm going to cancel it. Um, uh, okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run that python.loop uh, pi, and we're going to redirect the output so it won't print to the screen. We're going to redirect the output to a file, a text file that we're going to call out.log. And then we're going to put the ampersand on the end such that this will be running in the background. And so now this is a process running in the background. You can see that out.log has been created over here uh, on the left, or we can also see it if we list the directories. Uh, it's, it's been created over here in the left. And we can run tail on out.log like so. And in this case, it prints the last 10 lines. Well, it's already completed. So we didn't sort of check in on it. We just checked the answer after it was done. We're going to run uh, tail. Um, I'm sorry. We're going to run Python loop in the background, and then we're going to run tail, and we're going to follow the output. So you can see there, uh, it, the screen refresh where it prints to the screen is a little bit slower. But basically, we're following the output uh, of the simulation in that file.